All right, hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be driving the GLI, which is really exciting because uh, I've never driven a GLI. I've actually never driven a Jetta until today. Um, I apologize for the three. We can't do much about that right now. This is a dealership car. Um, with that said, also, this is a dealership car. It is not my vehicle, so we're not gonna be going crazy today, but uh, we will test a little bit of the capabilities out, but nothing crazy, so. All right, so we'll get right into it. We're in sport mode and uh Yeah, wow. It uh it picks up. The DSG is very very responsive. I will say that um it shifts instantly and you kind of really don't even notice that it shifts. That's that's how instantaneous it is. Um this is a really, really nice riding car. I drove it obviously over here and it kind of got a good initial impression and um, it's riding on 18 inch wheels. This is of course the GLI Autobahn too. Um, that really doesn't change much about the ride, but again, 18 inch wheels. Um, and yeah, uh, driving position wise, it's really, really nice. Uh, I have really good visibility. I don't really have any blind spots at all. Of course, that is the trait. It's a pro of the uh, driving a sedan around. One of the things you'll notice right away when you're in the sport mode is the uh, the pumped in sound. It honestly sounds really, really good. I don't see myself like wanting to turn it off unless I got super sick of it, but it does sound good. It has a nice rumble to it. It honestly kind of sounds like a, a Boxster Subaru a little bit, maybe even a five cylinder. That's kind of stretching a little bit, but I mean, it does sound, it sounds really good. And uh, the DSG shifts are really, really nice. Again, it reminds me a lot of my six speed uh, DSG. Um, this gearbox is really, really responsive though. Uh, this is of course the seven speed. A lot of people have issues with the seven speed and I honestly don't have, uh, I don't see what the problemo is. Uh, I think it's quite responsive. It doesn't lurch. In fact, it honestly feels like it lurches less than mine did before obviously t doing all the tuning and stuff. But um, overall, I mean, drivability is really nice. If you put it into its normal setting, so we'll even go in eco mode, we'll, uh, we'll try that out. Um, eco mode so again very windy day you're gonna hear a little bit of wind but again it's it's we're going 40 miles an hour and there's really not much wind noise as far as what the car is creating and there's not much road noise which is really nice a sports car with no road noise is is a really nice car again this is one of those cars that's it's hard to say which one's better than the GTI the GLI or which one is better the GLI or the GTI and and it's it's really hard to say because they both do such great things they're very similar too they are honestly the same exact car. Um, I want to say this is just a little bit heavier and maybe doesn't feel as peppy as the GTI stock, but um, honestly, it does It does feel quite good. Of course, this doesn't have the adaptive damper, so uh, the suspension mode that you have is going to be the suspension mode you're, you're stuck with, which is not a bad thing. It is a good, comfortable car. It doesn't really need a very aggressive uh, adaptive suspension, but again, it's, uh, it's, a, real, it's a nice ride. Um, it reminds me a lot of the GTI. One of my favorite traits, though, I will say, uh, that kind of separates a little bit from a GTI is the screen being up here. I'm, I'm not looking down anymore. It's very unusual to do that. Uh, they kind of swapped everything. The climate control is now like, I get, well, it's kind of always been low, but the screen is now high. The fans are now down there. And uh, I'm a big fan. I like it. <laughs> big fan. <laughs> But uh, of course we have the performance monitor up here. I'm not looking down to see everything. So I can kind of just get a good idea just by looking at that. So that's that's really nice. Um, I don't have to look down, it's just right at my side. So, um, and that's also goes for like changing the mode. You don't have to like look down. It's everything's kind of at your eye. Uh, this is, in my opinion, a little bit more driver focused than the GTI. And maybe that's just because of every, just this whole section. Um, it's more, angled towards you and uh, the screen is again right up here it makes it just uh, it's so nice I, I really really like that so uh, I'm a big fan of it and uh, maybe this is I mean there's obviously different qualities that the GTI has over this it might be a little bit faster it has more options like the adaptive suspension but uh, the GLI is is I definitely would not call it the underdog in this situation this is definitely a really really good package But uh, yeah, sport mode feels like sport mode. It's uh, it, This thing picks up a lot more. The drivetrain feels a little bit different. 
Of course, we have that engine pumped in sound, which honestly sounds pretty okay. It's uh, It doesn't sound super natural, um, just because I'm used to it with the GTI, but uh, it honestly does sound pretty cool in it, and it kind of gives a, a really sporty feel with this car, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna try a little, one last pull. Wow, yeah, it picks up real good. Um, so yeah, this is an awesome car. The uh, I think the way everything's packaged is really nice. Um, I don't really have any complaints about it. I, I'm not a sedan guy, I love hatches, um, but at the same time, this is it's just such a good car. And a lot of it is good because it shares so much with the GTI, but it has its own little flair as well, and I honestly really like it. They're, they are very similar, but they also have very different things about them as well. So that's something just to keep in mind. It honestly boils down to, are you a sedan or hatch guy? Um, you have to test them both side by side, but in my opinion, I love hatches. I think this is a really, really good driver-oriented car. I think it's a little bit more so than the GTI. I like all the tech that this one has over the GTI. This digital cockpit is really nice. So, uh, yeah, but overall, what a package. This is a, this is one sweet ride. And uh, yeah, I, I really don't have any issues with it. I can't, I can't find any complaints. The, um, the everything's super easy to use. The buttons are, are all laid out really easy. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a, it's honestly one of the best cars that you could buy. Um, and that obviously goes with the GTI as well. Uh, it's a, it's a perfect best of both world car because it has the performance and uh, it has obviously that easy ease of, uh, drivability. So I really like this car. It's a comfortable car. The seats are really nice. They do hug you in plenty fine. Um, I did say that they weren't as aggressive bolstered as the GTI. However, um, that's not a problem. They are still really, really comfortable, and uh, I, like I said before, also it can accommodate more size people. So, um, yeah. So that's a benefit, honestly. And I really, really do like this car. I think it's set up really nicely. Um, the performance is there. It's, uh, it's a good car. So anyway, we'll park it up. You guys can kind of get an idea what parking this thing is like. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, so we have our screen. It is, I think, the older camera. It's just more blown out now because of the bigger screen. And I don't think it's a bad screen, honestly. I think it's 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 pretty good quality for what it is. I mean, it is the Jetta, so it is kind of going to be the underdog in the situation. But um, yeah, uh, I really do like this car. I can't think of really many cons aside from obviously it's not you know that insane performance like a uh, Golf R it's it's pretty on par with the GTI with I said before the GTI being maybe a hair quicker um, but overall the DSG is super responsive I like the seven speed a lot um, yeah it's an awesome package so again if you guys are interested in this car please check Seacoast Volkswagen out they're in uh, Greenland New Hampshire they uh, they will accommodate you and they'll they will help you out with any of your GLI needs because, like I said, guys, this is a uh, gotta have it car. You, get, you definitely have to get one of these. If not this, then a GTI. So, um, yeah. So, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate it. Like, I appreciate it a lot. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. And I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.